Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to talk about the introduction of anatomy. And first we start with the definition of anatomy. Anatomy means the science which study uh, body structure. And we study body structure to observe the location and position and direction of organ with the neighbor organs. And anatomy mean anatomy mean cutting part or dissection. That means dissection mean cutting the body apart to study the organ. But not always we need to cut the body apart to study anatomy. So this is not the method of choice in living person. So we have other method we can study anatomy without cutting part. The first is palpation. And palpation means feeling structure with the fingertip, like this. And also we can study anatomy by auscultation by using the stethoscope and listening to the natural sound. Also we have what we call it percussion and this is by tapping in our hand and finger on and the correct is using a disc and hammer. Now what are the types of anatomy? We have three types of anatomy. The first one is the gross anatomy or they call it macro anatomy. This anatomy study the body structure by our naked eye. And the second one is microscopic anatomy. That means to observe structure under microscope. And the third one is the comparative anatomy and this is staying structure of different species that to compare between different species now if we want to study the body anatomy or the surface body anatomy we must have a special position we call it the anatomical position what is the anatomical position in this position the body must stand erect and the arm are held down and supine Supin mean the palm is forward, not like this. This we call it purin. This is wrong and this is the right. Also, our feet must be flat on the floor and slightly separated. And finally, the face is directed forward. The eye is and the face directed forward. Also, to study anatomy, we must have anatomical plane this is imaginary plane and this and here you see we have main three planes the first one is the frontal and the frontal this is the red one divide the body sorry this is the uh, yellow color this divide the body into backward and forward part and the second one is the sigital and this is the red one this is the red one this is divide the body into two equal parts left and right and finally we have the transverse plane this is the which divide the body into upper and lower part also an anatomy we have what we call it the di directional term. This is what we call it the directional term. Each one is positive of the other. This is the superior, mesopar, and this is the inferior, lower. And this is the media. This is the when we discuss or when we define the organ which is uh, close to the mediastinum. The part is close to the close to the mediastinum. We call it medial side, and this is the what we call it the lateral. This is far away from the mediastinum. 
Also, we have what we call the proximal. This is far away from the organ, from the middle of the organ. And also, the opposite of it is the distal. This is far away from the organ. So, this is the, dist this is the proximal part of the bone, and this is the distal part of the bone. This is the distal part of the hand, and this is the proximal part of the hand. And finally, we have the superficial. This is for the surface. And the opposite of is the deep. Also, to study anatomy, we have some regions or quadrant. And also, we can study this by two imaginary line. We make two imaginary line. So, divide the abdominal to the two, uh, four quadrant. The first one is the right upper and right lower and left upper and low and uh, sorry left lower quadrant also we can divide the body into more regions uh, by other imaginary line we can divide it into more imaginary line and so we have the hypochondral region. Hypochondral mean under the costal. This is the rib. Also, we call it the costal, and also we can call it the chondral. And this is the lateral lumbar. The lateral lumbar. And here we have the inguinal and the epigastric. This is related to the stomach. And umplical related to the uh, umplicus region. This is here. We have the umplicus. And also we have the hypogastric region or pubic, and this is lower than the stomach. This is all for the uh, regions. Now, also we have in the body cavities. This is cavity. We have dorsal body cavity, and we have abdominal cavity, and we have pelvic cavity. The dorsal body cavity include the cranial cavity and the thoracic cavity as well as the vertebral cavity this means the vertebral canal the vertebral canal which spinal cord move in it and also we have the abdominal cavity and pelvic cavity so, so we have three major cavity the cranial, thoracic, and abdominal, sorry, for, and pelvic cavity. So we have four major cavity in the body, the cranial, the thoracic, the abdominal, and the pelvic. This is all for the introduction of uh, anatomy, and uh, thank you.